A lot of folks left it all on the field, the campaign hard, and just the voters made a different decision. That was Chris Tudor, former chairman of the Shelby County Republican Party, back when the GOP actually held some countywide offices. But as of last night, that's no longer the case. In fact, for the first time since our elections went partisan some three decades ago, the GOP won't hold any local countywide offices. This after the lone remaining office holder, District Attorney Amy Wyrick, lost big when the votes were counted last night. Brad Broders is live in the studio taking a deeper dive for us. Brad, what do local Republican loyalists think went wrong? Well, Richard, the most recent Shelby County GOP chair, Chris Tudor, who you just heard from, told me unlike past elections, especially for district attorney, there weren't enough crossover voters willing to vote Democrat in some local races and Republican in others. Tudor said the local Democratic sweep Thursday means there's new urgency for more Republican enthusiasm and stronger outreach. I think it's going to be difficult, but I think it's doable, and we just have to... Uh, make a better pitch to the voters. I thought we had some great candidates. Um, I thought they communicated well, but we're obviously going to have to retool. So, Brad, what do uh, local political analysts who follow this type of thing, what do they think is going on? Well, I spoke with Susan Adler Thorpe earlier today. She told me Republicans now voted with Republicans now voted out of all countywide officers is a major reversal since that local GOP pushed for and implemented those partisan races in the first place. Now the tables are turned with Republicans voted out and shut out. If Republicans have any hope of winning a countywide election in the future, they better find some strong leadership that knows how to run a political party and get out the vote because the Republican turnout in yesterday's elections was shameful. Statewide, uh, Democrats don't have much to cheer about in Tennessee. It's a deep red state, but uh, Davidson and Shelby counties are a different story. How are they responding to the party sweep here in Shelby County? I imagine they're excited. They are. I spoke with the Tennessee Democratic Chairman Hendrell Remus, and he's hopeful the Democratic surge in Shelby County could put their party more in contention in November, though it still is a long shot against Republican Governor Bill Lee's re-election bid. There's no path to winning statewide without increasing voter turnout in Shelby County. We're going to be spending a whole lot of time and a whole lot of resources in Shelby County and Knox County and Davidson County. But I think last night Shelby County showed uh, why it's so important for us to really focus on as we move towards the general election. Now, while final results are still pending in one race, the Shelby County Commission is also on pace for a 9-4 Democratic majority. Live in the studio, I'm Brad Broders.